Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great strength training workout you can do in your home. Minimal equipment, easy to follow directions, and very minimal space. Come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to ten minutes of a cardio workout just to get your heart rate up a little bit, get your muscles and joints warmed up, and your mindset ready for movement. Okay, today we're going to need um, a little medium to heavier weight dumbbells, a fit ball if you have one, and a, kind of a harder weight tube or band set up about chest or hip height. And that is it. Okay, so we're gonna start today with a row. I've got my band here with my handles. You can use any old band or tube. Um, if you don't have a really heavy one, you can double them up. You can loop them through a couple times, make them a little more challenging. Okay, we're gonna stand in a good athletic stance, shoulders down and back. We're gonna pull back, squeeze those shoulder blades, working your back and arms here. Now, your stance is also, um, you're in an athletic stance, so your tummy's tight, your legs and your hips, um, your quads and your hips are engaged. Really control that band both directions. Seven, really squeeze those shoulder blades like you're squeezing a pencil. Nine, make sure you keep breathing. And 10, all right, good. Okay, we're gonna use this ball against the wall for some ball squats. If you don't have a ball, you can just do a wall squat. So putting your back against the wall and just hold it. We're gonna do ball squat pulses. So what I want you to do is to get down into your little squat. I want you to think about squeezing your glutes and we're gonna go squeeze little pulses. Now, we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Nine, 10. So right now we are at 10 seconds. Really sit back in your heels here. If you're feeling this in your knees, you can come out of it. Maybe come back down. Really squeeze those glutes each time you pulse. We've got about 10 more seconds left. Good job. Feel those legs burning. And rest. Okay, good. Now we're gonna rest your legs, work your arms. So grab those dumbbells and we're gonna do biceps curls. So you can do this um, either in a tandem stance or a staggered stance. I'm gonna do a tandem stance. Shoulders down and back to start. Curl those dumbbells up to your shoulders and then all the way back down. You wanna make sure that your elbows go all the way straight at the bottom here. Nice and slowly, just kind of controlled both directions. Now, make sure you're doing all the work here with your arms. If you feel like you've chosen maybe a little bit of heavy weight and you kind of have to go like that, grab a lighter set of dumbbells. We don't want your back to get involved here. Now you can hold the dumbbells like I am with your palms facing forward, or you can turn them and have the dumbbells facing forward. Whatever works better for you. You can mix it up each set, or you can do whichever feels better on your elbows, your joints. It works your biceps just a little bit differently, but for all intents and purposes, it doesn't really matter. It's really about what feels best on your joints. Okay, now we're gonna do some side step punching. So good athletic stance to start. We want to be able to move fluidly. We're gonna go step, punch together, step, punch. Give it a good jab, working on a little power here. Now we're gonna go back the other way. And I don't have a lot of room here in my little room, so I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times. One more time back the other way. Keep your tummy nice and tight here to protect your back and rest. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do a balance challenge. We're gonna do an airplane into a quick knee up. So what that looks like is you're going to go back. I'm gonna move my ball here. Into an airplane. Quick knee up hold. So that's gonna be the balance challenge. I'm gonna go slowly into an airplane. Quick. Whoop. 
Now do these next to your kitchen counter, a wall, maybe, you know, I've got a heavy elliptical machine here that I can grab. Good, really challenge yourself to try to hold that for a few seconds. Let's do one more. Whoops. Okay, good. Tighten your tummy here. That also helps with balance. You can find a spot to stare at. One side is usually easier than the other. Nice and slow, quick knee up, hold. Challenge yourself to hold that for a little bit. The last one here, and rest. Good job, those are really challenging. So you can practice those anytime, really. Just make sure you're near something you can grab if you do lose your balance. Okay, we're gonna end with a plank on the ball. Now, if you don't have a ball, you can do this on the ground. Or if you think the ball is too challenging, you can do it on the ground or an elevated surface, such as your bed or um, a bench. Now we're gonna try to hold this for about 30 seconds. All right, here we go. So you're just on your elbows. Tummy is off the ball. Now, if this doesn't feel that challenging, you can kind of roll it back and forth a little bit. I'm thinking it's probably going to feel challenging enough without that. Try to keep your elbows right under your shoulders. We've got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Now, like I said, if you don't have a ball, you can do it on the floor or an elevated surface. Okay, go through these one or two more times. Really challenge yourself to do that if you haven't been doing that. Add a little cardio in between and then follow with a good stretch and cool down. If you have any questions or need any modifications, please feel free to reach out either privately or leave a message in the comments. If, thank you guys. Have a great workout and we'll see you next time.